Hello everyone. Gosh, have I been getting a lot of comments on stuff. Alright. Let's go ahead and get started on my most recent popular video that is actually doing very well at the moment of recording this. This video is going to be all of your, most of the problems that are on there. Um, a lot of people have just gone to the comment, or I mean, gone to the description and literally just went ahead and just did that and just went to the description and just downloaded it from the Google Drive. So first off, everyone's been saying that the Google Drive is not working for it. So let's go ahead and head over to YouTube really fast. So let's go ahead and head over to YouTube. And then I'm going to go ahead and find the Google Drive for it. At the moment of recording this, this has 4 point, or, uh, 2,000. So yeah, All right, let's go ahead and get the Google Drive. Uh, while this is downloading, I'm going to go ahead and start to, so you just want to click, right click and click download. While this is already downloading and everything, because I've seen a problem with that, we're going to go ahead and get in to all the other ones. Now, if this does, if it is, if the, if there is a problem, because I haven't checked this in a month, and I've been getting some replies that say it's not working, I will go ahead and switch it over to Mediafire, or even do another one of these because I have it downloaded on my computer. Anyways, I'm gonna move this to my other monitor. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, but at the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and get into some other problems that we have also had with this. Um, so I'm just going to go and get most of the problems that you may have. First off, I'm going to go and get the Cinema 4D, which is right here. So the first one is the missing file. Okay. So I need I obviously have the read, which kind of shows everything. Here's all the serial numbers and all of that. Uh, okay, so it's very simple. All right, all you mainly have to do, I already have it installed, but what you want to do is you want to go to Reddit list. This is the first thing that you are supposed to do. So let's just say if you go to Cinema 4D and you automatically try and open it. It will obviously work for me, but for you, it would not work at all. All right, wouldn't even open anything like that. Okay, other thing, other thing is what people keep on saying it's a virus. Not a virus at all. You can run it through Virus Total. It's basically Cinema 4D. And then what it basically has is these are all, you could download probably Cinema 4D itself and use these serial codes, serial codes. The codes are basically fake ones, but it allows you to get into Cinema 4D itself. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, anyways, yeah, so that's kind of what it is. Um, now, if you're getting that problem, you download it from the Reddit list and you download... Uh, this one, which is the missing missing file. So let's just say you went ahead and downloaded it. You clicked installed. You and downloaded everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. The status. You'll say yes. Click the finish, and it should be done. And you should be able to open it. For some reason, if you're still getting an error that says something like "try and restall the program." Don't think that it actually installed something. That's just an error code that just says that this is not fully installed. Okay, Cinema 4D is just in this folder. So it's technically installed in this folder is kind of what it's saying. That's just an error just because that's what it mainly says. It's not a virus or anything like that that you can't get off your computer or anything like that. I promise. Okay, and if you don't trust this, it's perfectly fine if you do not want to use this. Anyways, you should be able to do that, but if you do have that problem, obviously, there are some things that I've heard from others that may help. First off, restarting your computer and see if that works. If that doesn't work, then try and restart it or reset it to like turn it on and off, not full on reset your computer, and then try and download the missing after you restart it and then try again. Mainly, that's actually uh, helped with a lot of people. With that, if something like that doesn't happen, you're going to want to maybe try and search up some other YouTube videos with that. With probably a title like of how to fix missing lmbmmd.dll file. And you'd search up something like that. So mainly it's um, one of those things. So yeah, half the time you need to like, try and either update your drivers or... 
or reinstalled the program, but obviously you kind of can't reinstall this program at all. Those are mainly the big errors I've been getting a lot of videos. So, yeah, I'm going to be, this is going to be an unlisted video now. So, yeah, this is going to be an unlisted video for people that are just having problems. I'll put it down in the comments for the other video. And because everyone's been having airs with everything, this isn't going to have a thumbnail or anything like that. This is going to be an unlisted video with everything because everyone's been having problems with it and all of that. So, yeah, if you've been having problems with it, then this is probably what's going to help you is by either doing the missing LMB, MMD, LL. So make sure that you have installed this, okay? You have to have this installed and all of this. So you may be wondering, what is this? These are all drivers that would normally be installed. So, like, for example, let's just say you're installing a program uh, for example, like Lunar Client, you have to go ahead and, you know, you have to go to that install, you know, you have to go through that install. So once you're going inside that install, you know how it's always like, would you like to download this? Would you like to download this? Now that's basically this. So whenever you're in an installer, it will automatically download like these type of drivers. Now these are all made by Microsoft or Windows. Okay. So like, let's just say if you click on one, this is uh, Microsoft Visual C++, or I think it's Sharp or something, I don't know. Anyways, it's like by Microsoft. You can even go and just download it itself um, on the Microsoft. Just like search up for VC Reddit list underscore uh, 64, and you should be able to find it right there. So if you have an X86 or something, this may not work for you, and that may be one of the problems because this is only for an X64. And I think to check that is like going into settings and checking that, but if you know like you're an X... 64 sometimes people are like um, x32 this will not work and they won't allow you to do it obviously i already have these installed it may allow me to even install it again no because it's already been detected and then you can also go to this one click yes it'll probably say the same thing Maybe not. All right. Anyways, that's basically kind of how to do it and how to fix that because a lot of people have been having problems. So, yeah, that kind of concludes for this video. Uh, obviously, like what I said, will be unlisted. Everyone's been having problems with the Cinema 4D, and that actually just got installed. So, all right. So, I just it just got installed right here. Let's go to Cinema 4D. And as you see, it should work right there I'm gonna go ahead and it automatically download it so yeah um, it should be a zip file you just, all you have to do is extract it which basically means just take it out of that folder there's no password nothing like that we're just gonna wait for items to be moved it's probably gonna say like would you like to replace and stuff anyways I don't really need to do that because I already have it. So let's go ahead and exit out of those two. Close window. Okay. Oh, okay. My driver just got reset. In. That was weird. Anyways, yeah. So it's pretty simple from there. So, yeah. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video and stuff. And I'm sorry for me being very absent with all my stuff. By the way. Whenever you open it, all right, this is like the uh, video stuff. Whenever you open it, stuff like this should be in it. Now, all you have to do right here, all right, I'm just going to go through an exclamation. Whenever it says name, type in whatever you want. You could type in Bob. It doesn't matter. Company, type in whatever. Street, just type in a bunch of numbers, and then, like, green last lane. City, grass, country, grass it does not matter you can say grass for every single one the only thing that really matters on here is the serial numbers okay all the serial numbers here's actually the video that i made the thumbnail everything all right no virus nothing i promise here are all the serial numbers so like what someone actually suggested in the comments is copy all of these and put it in there now what i like to do i think that will work i don't know what i just what i would do is i would just pick one Copy it, put it in there. If that doesn't work, I do it again. Copy every single one, 
and see if it works. One of them will work, it guaranteed. It just kind of depends. One of them will work. So, yeah, that's basically how you do it. Obviously, not a virus, why I said. Another video will be coming out soon to everyone that's watching. Another video will be coming out soon. It's another Cinema 4D. It's actually a render tutorial for this one. It's going to be another type of render. And as you can see, it's actually on my screen right now. Uh, we're going to be doing one of those type of render um, show. It's very easy to do, and it's not hard at all, and looks pretty clean. So, without further ado, hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope this kind of explains to you all the problems that may be happening, and you should be able to find a solution with it. So, yeah, I'm, I have been very inactive in my Discord, so if you're, like, joining my Discord just to ask me a question, half the time I'm going to be very inactive on my Discord. So, go ahead and shoot a comment down below. Please do not spam every single social media that I have asking me that question i've had a couple people that are like dming me on discord commenting me emailing me um <laughs> so yeah just go ahead and pick up youtube comments i will read them um so yeah anyways hope y'all have a great new year's and hopefully 2022 can get better and everything so without further ado i'll see you guys in the next video